So very well done to this guy for winning himself 100,000 FIFA coins for suggesting the best misses in football, okay? So that is players that have missed a great opportunity and, you know, should have been a goal. So thank you to that guy for suggesting it and he's won himself some goodies. If you guys are looking to open any FIFA packs or buy any FIFA coins, check out footbomb.com in the description down below. Use Rossi to check out page for 10% discount. And don't forget, get grip in the description down below. Rossi will get you a 5% discount over there as well. Pretty awesome. I mean, I mean, that's outstanding. Over 5,000 likes, nearly 6,000 likes in the previous squad, okay? So that means you're loving it. That means you guys are loving it. And don't forget to drop your suggestions for the next top five in the comments down below. Not that, yeah, in the comments, sorry, but I nearly said description and that would Shit. And you could win yourself some FIFA coins. So make sure you drop a like on this video down below. If we can beat the previous target, if we can try and beat the 5,800 likes. That would be mind blowing, okay? I know you guys can do it. Let's try and do it for another top five this weekend. But let's get in. To the video. Coming in at the number five spot, then we do have the one and only Fernando Torres, ladies and gentlemen. Now everyone knows the goal straight away. Everyone thinking it, everyone knows it. It's stuck with this guy for years, and I think it will stick with him forever. Chelsea versus Man United, he slot through. He does really well to go around the hill, you know, a little step over around him on his left foot, which is his weaker foot. But and he literally blazed it wide open goal. I mean, he should have buried it. Everyone knows he should have buried it. Um, that just sort of summed up his Chelsea sort of period, really. Pretty disappointing. And like I said, we'll actually stick with him for a very, very long time, which has got to be pretty disappointing for him, right? So that is number five biggest miss in football. Now, obviously, there's going to be loads I could have put in this video, but, you know, it's entertainment as well. The number four spot will surprise a few of you, okay? We do have Neymar, right? So we've got some big guns in this. I can see the comment section getting a little bit fruity. So all I'm going to say is calm down, a bit of entertainment. You know, I'm not slating your favourite player. Just chill out a little minute. We've got Neymar, Brazil versus Ecuador. It's only a friendly match as well. So, you know, all the comments are going to be like, it didn't count, it was only a friendly. Okay, so the ball's in the wide position, okay? It's cut into the box for Neymar. Open goal, pass the goalkeeper, and he is the cross button. And the rebound, he doesn't manage to finish neither. Just sort of comes at him. Um, he knows as well. You can see his face. He knows he's missed an absolute sitter. He's laughing about it, which I guess is all you can do. And like I said, it is a friendly match, so um, it didn't matter too much. But still, come across him. Beat the goalkeeper, and it's just an open goal, and he hits the crossbar from like a yard or two out. I mean, it's an incredible scene. Can I just say, this actually happens to every player as well, no matter how good you are, okay? You're going to see more big guns in this video as well. So, this can happen to anyone at any moment. So, you know, it's just really, really unlucky, or in some cases, really poor, because you're going to see a few poor ones as well. The number three spot is full of big guns, all right? Well, oh, should I say a big gun? We've got Cristiano Ronaldo now. This, when I say it happens to every player, and even the best, uh, this is where I literally it does come into case. We've got Cristiano Ronaldo when he was at Manchester United. Now, let's talk it for a little bit. Rooney's got it in a wide position. Back here with Giggs. Giggs puts it across and it's just an open goal. He just got to tap it in and he just lays it over the bar from a couple of yards. Keepers beat. Everyone's beat. Um, I don't know what's happened there. I, I think he's just hit a bobble or something. So, in a way, if it hit a bobble, it's not him being poor. You know, it's just, a, it's just very, very unlucky. So, it can happen to everyone. So, but I'm afraid Ronaldo, you know, as much as I am a Man United fan and, you know, I'm a big fan of you, uh, it's got to go in the video. It was one of the biggest misses, right? Because it was a pretty big miss. So far, we've got Torres, which I think was maybe poor, maybe, from him. We've got Neymar, which is uh, maybe poor slash unlucky. And then we've got Ronaldo's, which if it did it a bobble, then it's unlucky. If it didn't, then it's poor. So I'm going to leave you guys in the comment section down below to really try and work out what you think about each one so far. Okay, the number two spot may surprise a few of you. We do have Gareth Bale now. We've had three good big guns in a row. Don't worry, there's no more after this, but there's the biggest miss in the world after this. So make sure you stick around for that. We've got his time at Tottenham here, which he actually missed a pretty big sitter. So the wide player does pretty damn well. Cuts the ball into the box. It's on his left foot, and he puts it wide. Um, it came across him, open goal, the keeper was well beaten, he puts it back to the other side of the post. I mean, I don't know how he's actually done that. Is that poor? Is that unlucky? You know, did it a bobble? I think that was a poor one, really, to be honest. But I'll leave it to you guys to vote in the comment section down below. But in my opinion, I would say it's a little bit poor. Um, he was on his left foot as well. I mean, I don't know, he should have maybe used his right. I don't know. It's, all, it's, all, it's easy to say at the time after it's happened. But it still goes down as a pretty big miss. And you actually do win the number two spot in my video, Gareth. All right, so coming up to the next guy. Okay, we, are, we actually have a guy called Fahad Khalifan, I think is, is the right name, okay? Not this guy, this is just the closest guy with a similar name I could actually get. We've got Fahad 
Kalfan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've got Fahed Kalfan Alan or, or something like that. I just tried to get it close I could, alright? Leave me alone. I'm not the best with pronunciation of names, so we'll just get into the mystery league because it's probably the biggest in history. So the striker's running down here. Big mistake from the goalkeeper. Tries like chopping it or something like that. He gets the ball. Open goal. One yard out. He's dribbling with the ball. No one's around him. No pressure. Decides to use his left foot and hits the post from about a yard out. Why did he try using his left foot in that situation, okay? I mean, he was dribbling with the ball, open goal. Why not just use your right foot there, mate? I mean, that is why you've missed that. That's got to go down as the biggest miss in the history of football, right? Because, I mean, how do you even do that? That's harder to miss than it is to score in that situation. But anyway, guys, here's the top five. We've got Torres, obviously Chelsea, Man United. Neymar, which is the Brazil-Ecuador one, I believe. Uh, Ronaldo, obviously Man United one. And uh, Bell, Tottenham one. And then this guy, the worst miss in football. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Over 3,000 would be amazing, but over 5,800 would be insane. Guys, has been a pleasure as always. Peace.